Wiki Tiki, Pahaku, Waiahi, Pahaku, Aloha, welcome to the Wiki Tiki game. Wiki Wiki, Wiki Wiki, Wiki Tiki, Pahaku, Waiahi, Pahaku, Aloha, welcome to the Wiki Tiki game. Wiki Wiki, Wiki Wiki, Wiki Tiki, Tiki. The numbers you put down for the yellow trap don't look right to me. Take another look at your entries for the orange trap. Might be a good idea to give the figures for the green trap another go. I double check the data for the purple trap if I were you. There's something a little wonky about the entries you made for the blue trap. Your figures for the red trap look a little off. Oh yeah. Mm hmm 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 Oh, yeah. Don't worry. They were made by Norse Aveda larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. What? I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frost traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn things got me stumped. I'm not coming down unless and until you figure out what those caterpillars have been eating. Then I'm not coming down. These crazy things are dancing up a storm. Do you have something? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples I've collected, and see if one of them matches the frass sample. Got that? The samples didn't match? I can't come down right now. I can't come down right now. The wasps I'm observing are doing some kind of dance, and I'm taking notes. What do you want? The sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I'm not coming down until you get my clipboard. Clipboard, Nancy. Starts with C, ends with D. Clipboard. Once I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Somebody named Nancy Drew has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks and work for me. Which means I'm on the verge of fame, fortune, and free labor. Woohoo! Is life good or what? 
It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots of great news. I just got done with my initial frast jar content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norse beta odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk even as I speak, it's March 24th. For the past two days now, I've heard this very odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. Ugh, I hate that. March 19th. This has never happened to me before, ever. But when I was out checking traps in the jungle today, I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight and I didn't see anybody or hear anything, but I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then, after about three minutes, it went away. I, you know, it was just weird. Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm going to start rigging frass traps. I probably should have started doing that today, but I spent the whole morning observing a colony of feral bees. Man, I hope somebody answered the ad my mentor placed in that newsletter. If she could get me an assistant, I could spend the whole day observing whatever insect I want. Oh, would that be cool or what? I'm Dr. Quigley Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island, beginning with today, March 11th. Hopefully, I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. It makes me sound very nasal for some strange reason. Of course, this whole recording thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So he practically forced me to... <sighs> There I go again. Well, at least with this thing. When I start digressing, I can just push this button and... How did you get this number? What's wrong with your nose? You sound so normal. Life works, Biochem? Dr. Kim, you're finally calling? Not right. Nope. Keep up the good work. Good. Ta-ta. See you later. Excellent. Try again. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. You need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. <sighs> Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. Your results indicate otherwise. No, that's not right. You made a mistake. Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those norsebated caterpillars have been eating. It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. It's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere. It's a kind of moth. And to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual? You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta Odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, yes, it really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're gonna be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go! Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Yeah, well, look, I needed to finance my research here, so I agreed to spy on Craven. But now that I've made this discovery, I can tell the people who hired me to take a hike. Besides, Craven's filing system is so blasted unsystematic that I never found anything worthwhile in them anyway. You don't know what it's like trying to make a living as a scientist, unless you're rich to begin with, or discover something incredible, or go to work in some windowless assembly line type laboratory. You starve! I'm not saying that all laboratories are bad. In fact, there's this really great one in Montana. It's on this guy's ranch, so you can actually go horseback riding and fishing during your lunch break. Quickly! What? 
Oh, all right. Yes, I stole a security pass. Yes, I snuck into Healy Healy a couple of times to dig through Craven's files. And yes, a rival company paid me to do all that. But I had to, Nancy. I was desperate for money. Get out! Me? A spy? I've heard it, too, and I have this gut feeling that it somehow ties into the Norse Beta Caterpillar Bloom. But for the life of me, I cannot think why. Good question. I have this gut feeling that it somehow ties into the Norse Beta Caterpillar Bloom. But for the life of me, I cannot think why. Our paths have crossed once or twice, unfortunately. The man is an egomaniacal lunatic. I wouldn't hire that whack job to wash test tubes. Of course not. Why would I do that? Well, he probably just didn't want to admit that he lost it. Security pass? I... oh yeah, I found it. Not one iota. Oh, please. Of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Connie O'Kalo was spotted doing this or he was heard doing that. This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Then what'd you call me down here for? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await. Woohoo! You're digressing. We'll be on Oprah, late night talk shows. Somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in L.A. last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame. It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. No. Oh. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? Then where is it? The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. Well, yeah, something's wrong. I no longer have any idea what I'm talking about. And please... Dr. Kim, is something wrong? Ah, oh, nuts. Let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? Oh, well, point taken, but try not to let it happen again. So, right. Well, Nancy, I'm digressing here, am I not? As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. <sighs> Make it fast. We've got a lot of work to do. Good. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects. A hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Please. Terrific. Because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am. And we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? Now what? Have you got something? Did you do it right this time? Well? What? So what are your findings? Tell me. You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? Nope. All the time we spent on this thing wasted. I should have just gone surfing. And I should have just gone with you. Dad, please. The earthquake was just a coincidence. Our plan will work. Frank's not going to say anything, are you, Frank? 
My father owes a lot of money to some really bad people. That's why we did it. And if you could just not tell anyone about this, everything will be fine. Dad, no! We're in too deep. We've got to go through with it now. I had to find another way in here. So I let you figure out that chart, and then, yes, I followed you. How did you get in here? Let me know when you want to try surfing again. Have fun. Sounds good. Book them, Dano. Cool beans. It's been real. Okay, what else? There you go. Looking good. Let's see what you've got. Need anything else? And there you go. Long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. Let's have a look. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. You can if you made him right. Let me take a look. You can if you made it right. Let me take a look. Let's see. Let's see him. Pleasure doing business with you. Here are your Big Island bucks. Nice job. Let's see it. Look, until somebody figures out a way to stop earthquakes, they're going to happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? Me? Afraid of big waves? Not hardly. What good does being concerned do? <sighs> it figures. My father's got one foot in the present and the other foot in the past. I don't know how he can balance. I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. Yeah, wasn't that great? Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shave ice. I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. I promise I won't call the police. Say it, then you don't get the chart. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride different currents to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. The chart? Sure. Yes, there is, from the water. It says so on this old chart my dad has. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big, but he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. This island is riddled with lava tubes, tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. What? What do you mean? Like what? Let's talk about something else, okay? My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. You heard us? Yeah, right. Like I told the police. You know, you sound just like the police. They asked me the same thing. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. You're kidding, right? <sighs> That's a relief. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Sorry, can't help ya. Johnny Kudo. You bet it will. My dad told me if I win, he'll hire somebody to take my place here, which means I'll finally be able to surf all day. See, what you don't seem to understand is, I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. I surf till it gets too dark, I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up, I surf till I gotta start teaching, I help my dad, that's it. That's my life. Nothing. Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear to you, I have seen Kane Okala. Now, Amscre, I gotta work. My dad said that after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Kane Okala all over the place, including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I mean, Kane Okala has shown up before when somebody endangered the islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? Look, first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong with the pineapple crop. Coincidence? I don't think so. I'd rather not say. You'd laugh. Dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. She wouldn't have liked that either. So everything kind of turned out for the best. It was pretty awful at the time, but that's okay. You didn't know. Besides, she died when I was 10. We don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes, Dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. Far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. Heck no. I mean, okay, I guess. I mean, pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. You're doing great. So is your brother. In fact, no, it's fun. I like turning people on to surfing, especially guys. Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, how about we change the subject? He hasn't come off his board once. 
Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Actually, Frank's doing okay. Well, no, I didn't almost drown until the first time I tried shooting the curl on the pipeline. But then, I'm not like everybody. I'm ten times better. <laughs> but hey. No, I'm not going to listen to you ever again! Hey, look, flailing around like a drowning puppy your first time out or two is nothing to be ashamed of. Happens to everybody. I'm not going to let you ruin everything. You hear me? I'm not. I was out there at dawn, and I'll be back out there at dusk. I'll get my rides in. Don't worry. You can't do that. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you did swallow a lot of water out there. What are you doing? Go find that entrance. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? Hey, what's going on? Can't talk. Still working. Sorry. Hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? Anytime. Mahalo. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. Police mention that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. Got it right here. 808... Five 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 nine two five eight. Good luck getting him to return your call. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. Well, you're not the only one who'd like to find him. How well do you know this guy? Hmm. Hang on. Now what? Yeah, I remember. What do you want? Sure, what's the number? Punch up, this is Davey. Hi, this is Ned Nickerson. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. We aim to please. No problem. I hope it helps. And don't you forget it. Glad to help. Bye, Nancy. I miss you, you know. Feel free to call me anytime. Stay in touch. You got that? Call again, okay? Try turning the teeth on that face until all the animals he named are facing front and see what happens. Something tells me a little game of ring around the nosey may be in order. My guess is you need to turn the teeth on that face until all the animals he named are facing front. Quigley said she found it in Kapu Cave, right? Well, why don't you take another look around there, and while you do, remember this. The nose knows. Three words, Nancy. Personal Digital Assistant. Craven's handheld PDA will tell you his employee number, which locker was assigned to that employee number, and what combination opens that locker. Just be careful to go into device settings and turn the sound down to mute, or Craven could wake up and do that yelling thing he's so good at. Remember that guy Craven fired earlier today? His yellow jumpsuit could still be in his locker. If you put it on, nobody will know you're from Adam. Or Eve. And you'll have the run of the place. A sequence of five numbers comes to mind. One, two, two, one, and three. Maybe that'll keep old Yeller off your back. Frank and Joe Hardy probably aren't all that busy. Call them and see if they can help you. Botany was never my strong suit. Well, I suppose you could call the Hardy Boys and describe it to them and tell them to be on the lookout for information on it. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Well, if you're sure there's not a map there at Dr. Kim's base camp and you've exhausted all your other options, I suppose you could call the Hardy Boys. That big island guy is bound to have a map somewhere. You need to know what series of musical tones she uses to open it. That tape recorder you found... Give it a real good listen. Maybe she left something that can help you on tape. You need to know what series of musical tones she uses to open it. I'd look for something she may have recorded it on, and then I'd listen. Real hard. Remember how you got the rig out of the ditch? Well, use the winch again, only attach the hook to the panel before you turn it on so you can hoist it back up onto the pole to collect sunlight. Each of those new photovoltaic cells has a number on it, right? Well, place each one on the grid in such a way that each row and each column adds up to the same number, like, say, 30. First thing you need to do is get some new photovoltaic cells. Keep your eyes open for someone over there who's into solar power, and when you find that person, start begging. You're going to have to fix the solar panel it's getting power from by replacing those missing photovoltaic cells. Follow the cord and see what it's supposed to be getting power from. Then see if that's in working order, and if it needs to be fixed, fix it. Look around for something you can use to pull it out like a winch with a cable you can attach to the hitch on the front of the rig. In fact, maybe you can put that hook you found to use. Look around for something you can use to pull it out, like a winch with a cable you can attach to the hitch on the front of the rig. Of course, you'll need a hook or something to attach the cable to the hitch with, so keep your eyes open for that, too. Good. What do you want to know? I can try. What do you need? About what? 
I think that could be arranged. A hot-headed creature that messes with insects and food crops? Maybe. But a hot-headed creature that whispers? I don't think so. People? As in you? Wait a minute. And? What about them? No. No kidding. Quirky. Quirky. Nutsoid. Nutsoid? She's up in her tree? So why are there suddenly so many of them? I've never heard of fretillated flag beetles. Yeah, you bet. Very cool. Music to my ears. You don't think that this little entomological mystery you're working on is somehow related to whatever mystery they're working on, do you? Right. Sounds dangerous. Larvae? As in slimy little worms that crawl around and attach themselves to things? Is this going to gross me out? Not to change the subject or anything, but what else has been going on? Of course. Sounds like you've been talking to Frank a lot. Whoa, that's no way to spend a Hawaiian vacation. That's exciting. Of course, there's no telling what an entomologist considers to be a great discovery. Good. Did she see why her camp was all torn up like that? Ouch. Like fingers on a chalkboard, huh? Let me guess. She's quirky. Is she all right? What's she like? No, no, wait. Yikes. And did she? Why would she do that? Why were you looking for Dr. Kim there? What's he working on? No. Is he a bug guy too? Great. You shouldn't be out there by yourself. I think you should head back into town until she turns up. You think some creature got her? Okay, so what else is going on? What? You think she was kidnapped or something? Missing? What do you mean? What happened? Okay. That's not colorful. That's kind of whacked. Sounds like a colorful guy. So what's going on, Nancy? In case you're wondering what that thing you're holding is, it's the short end of the stick. They're getting paid to check out a Hawaiian surfer girl while you're camping in the jungle chasing insects for free. Somebody hired them to check out a surfer? So what are you up to? I take it it doesn't involve bugs. But what? Are, are you sure? Well, I wish I could be there with you, believe me. It's done nothing but rain non-stop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky's just this constant shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you not here, it's... The bug doctor's on the beach? So, did you arrive okay? That was quick. Hey, how's it going? No kidding. Doing what? Hello? We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Richard Aikens, what have you found out? Well, let's hear it. Yes, of course. In fact, I just got out of a meeting in which Pua Mapu was the main topic of discussion. Marketing is enthusiastic about using her, but they need to move quickly. So, if there's anything unsavory about the Mapus, I must know now. Good heavens, is he all right? Do you think the Mapus had something to do with it? Please, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. Please, you must move quickly. Time is of the essence. Please, whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. Did you call the person who issued the ticket? So your mysterious intruder was just someone looking for something to steal. Well, keep your eyes open and remember, should you happen upon anything untoward that even remotely concerns the Mapus, you must tell me immediately. Good. If JK stands for this Johnny Kuto person, Maybe Mapu is helping him fence stolen property or something. I don't believe in coincidences, young man. You are to find out what's going on and find out fast. What do you mean involved with? Somehow. I need specifics, Frank. I need facts, and I need them now. And hiding something. Hiding what? For crying out loud, Frank, find out. The press is actually starting to listen to that blowhard. I... Mm, never mind. I'll thank you not to call me again unless and until you have found out what Mapu is up to. Never heard of it. Look, who cares? Why are you asking me stupid questions? Just go do what I hired you to do. My dealings with the Hilly Hilly are none of your concern. All right. My company owns the Hilly Hilly. The lead scientist there is working on a top secret revolutionary product. Consequently, the less publicity the facility receives, the better. But for some reason, this Mike Mapu character has been spreading vicious rumors about the Hilly Hilly. And if the press picks up on them and starts sniffing around, the whole project could be compromised. So, I hired you to dig up some dirt on Mapu. I prefer to call it fighting fire with fire. I assure you, what we are doing at the Hilly Hilly does not involve destroying pineapples. Quite the contrary. Now, I apologize for the subterfuge, but I was afraid the truth would only confuse things. 
You can quit if you want, but if the Mapus are up to something they shouldn't be, and if you walk away, you can't exactly claim the moral high ground either. As do I, young man. As do I. I am a very busy man, Mr. Hardy. I do not want to hear from you unless you have something to report, which had better be soon. Understood? Keep up the good work. Keep me posted. Goodbye, then. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Just move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen and you'll automatically move in that direction. By the way, you can turn off this auto move feature in the game setup menu. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or a back arrow, and click. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm onto something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red, then click to zoom in. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with a hand cursor, that object gets added to your toolbox. Good work! You're a natural. To see what's in your toolbox, just click on the tool icon at the bottom of the screen which will light up whenever you've added something new. If the All tab is active, you'll see all the objects you've collected during the game. Now click on the tab with the eye on it. When the Eye tab is active, you'll see only those objects which you might want to look at over and over again, like letters or messages. Now click on the Hand tab. When the Hand tab is active, you'll see the objects that you can use to manipulate other objects. Find the key in your toolbox and click on it. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To return an object to your toolbox, just click on the tool icon, then click on the open toolbox and the object will go back into storage. You can close the toolbox by clicking on the square in the upper right hand corner. In this game, you'll be able to take pictures using someone else's camera. The notepad at the bottom of the screen is where I keep reminders to myself. Click on it and you'll see what I mean. If the book tab is active, you'll see my journal, which is where I keep all my observations concerning information I've gathered and people I've met. If you click on the clipboard with a check mark and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Wogglewoggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box below the scene, with his words in blue and my responses in white. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next, like this. Excuse me, Mr. Giant Person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. Excuse me, Mr. Wogglewoggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. And you seem to be pretty gabby, especially for someone who doesn't even have a mouth. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll box on the left to move the text up and down so you can read along. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. Oh, but don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. 
If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. The menu screen is your starting point for the game. To access the menu while you're playing the game, just click on the menu icon on the lower left side of the screen. When you open the menu, you'll have several choices. Click on New Game to begin your adventure. Click on Load and Save Game to save your current game or to load a game that you have previously saved. When you click on this option, you may save your current game by typing in a name. For instance, Game 1. Then clicking on Save. You can save up to 35 games. Or you may load a saved game by clicking on the name of the game to highlight it, then clicking on Load. A word to the wise. Periodically save your game, just in case. Click on Continue Game to resume your game. For example, if you saved your game or interrupted gameplay to access the game setup screen, click on Continue Game to start your current game where it left off. When you make a game ending mistake during the game, and don't worry, everyone does, you will automatically go back to the menu screen. Click on Second Chance and you'll return to the game, where you'll be able to try, try again. Click on Game Setup to make the volume of voices, music, or special effects more to your liking. You can also turn off closed captioning, the words that appear during the game in the window at the bottom of the screen, and Auto Move, the arrow that appears at the side of some screens that allows you to automatically move in that direction. Click on Game Credits to see the names of all the talented people who helped make this game. Click on Help for tips that will help you play the game. To turn off the game and return to the desktop of your computer, click on Exit Game. If you haven't saved your game, you'll be asked if you want to do so. You won't have an alarm clock in this game, but forget about sleeping in. You're going to be way too busy for that. Uh, which question would you like me to answer first? I'd rather not say until you tell me who you are. I'm not quite done yet. Could I ask you a question first? I needed to take a little break. You're not going to start shouting at me again, are you? Like I said, no problem. Better late than never. Finished. Dr. Craven? He's sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. Perfect. I found it. I think maybe I'd like to answer the other question. I found it. Wouldn't you like to know who I am now? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. Are you at Dr. Kim's base camp? There's no need to shout, okay? I mean, you don't even know who I am. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. You think Dr. Kim stole it? So you don't know where she is? All right, that's enough. You're jumping all over me when the only thing I did to you was tell you the truth. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Internet, mostly. Your blog is awesome. I read a lot. Like I said, I'm kind of a science freak. Well, bugs and plants do kind of go hand in hand. She's the friend of a friend of a friend, that sort of thing. And when I heard there was a free round-trip ticket to Hawaii involved, I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so could you by any chance spare me, say, nine cells? Isn't there something you could take for it? I've heard that bathing in oatmeal and baking soda helps relieve itching. What makes you think Dr. Kim stole that security pass? Have you ever met Dr. Kim? Yes, I found her out in the jungle. Yes, but she said she has no idea who tore up her base camp. Yes, and she immediately put me to work. I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? You bet. I guess. The person who tore apart Dr. Kim's base camp. It was you, wasn't it? Come on, Dr. Craven, I know it was you. The page you tore off the front of her clipboard is right over there. Look, I don't want to make trouble for you. I just want to know what's going on. Why did you tear off that page? You just had a big temper tantrum? I, uh, I have really good eyes. Listen, I gotta get going. Bye. Is it possible that the work you're doing here could be causing a sudden increase in the population of the... Fritillated flag beetle? Not anymore. <sighs> Here's the deal, Dr. Craven. 
I know that you're working for Aikens Biotech and that whatever you're working on involves pineapples. I've seen them. I also know that something is damaging the local pineapple crop and that it's almost certainly fritillated flag beetles because for some reason they're out there multiplying like crazy. What I don't know is, are you responsible? As soon as the newspapers hear about this, a lot of other people are going to be asking you the same thing. So you might as well tell me. I fertilize those plants. No problem. Couldn't someone around here do it for you? Got it. Not anymore. <sighs> Here's the deal, Dr. Craven. I know that whatever you're working on here involves pineapples. I've seen them. Any chance you could give me a tour of this place? Who's that? But what you're doing does involve hybridizing plants? I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. It's been wonderful talking to you. I should go. This has been a real honor. I have thoroughly enjoyed talking to you. Guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. Dr. Kim? I mean, Quigley! I need to tell you something else! Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed her camp. Hello? Are you Dr. Kim? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! Quigley, can I talk to you? Quigley, could you come down here? I'm back! Quigley? Must be Dr. Kim's notes. Phew, looks like Greek to me. A match. So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever they are. Where are you going? Quigley! That's weird. She's gone. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio it's attached to. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. I probably shouldn't have done that. Hi, listen, I found this pass, and I wondered if... Put my hands up? Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in just for a few minutes? Oh, no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that press sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, where could I find a spare lens around here? Oh, no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that press sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, maybe I should go see Dr. Craven again. That should do it. It's just me, Dr. Craven. Nancy, I, I just got here. Oh my gosh, this is a page that was torn off Quigley's clipboard, which means the person who trashed her camp must have been Dr. Craven? Oh, but I need to take Dr. Craven at least 12 seeds, a security pass for the Healy Healy Research Center. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. Actually, I'm trying to find Dr. Quigley Kim. Perfect. Yikes. I can't leave yet. I'm not done fertilizing, and I still need that microscope lens. Richard Aikens at Aikens Biotech? That's who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to check out the Mapus. Uh-oh, how do I turn this thing off? Oh no, he's waking up. Shh, I've got to shut this off. They're beautiful. I'll just give this to Mr. Mapu and be on my way. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? Dr. Kim, are you here? Hello, anybody here? Dr. Kim? She's gone. Ugh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh, the color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Ugh, I guess I'd better go tell Quigley. Whatever those caterpillars have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. No, what should I do now? Got it. Uh, not yet. Area code 312. Chicago, maybe? Green Trigger Rock? Where the heck is that? Sure help if I had a map. Wonder if Frank and Joe Hardy have one. Note and identify proximate vegetation. Record code in analysis grid on clipboard. I'm going to have to identify the plants the traps are hanging next to? Yikes. Note to self. Two traps are at Kapu Cave. Wonder what the deal is with this guy, and what's with all the animals on his teeth? So, if I were this plant, what would I be called? It opened! I'd better call and tell Frank.
This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Dr. Kim, are you there? Hello? Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Dr. Kim? Hello? Oh, the tape ran out. A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I wonder if these pictures tell some kind of story. Here we go. Locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to stay out of sight from here on out. Okay, little plant. This won't hurt a bit. I wish I had time to fish, but I don't. That doesn't match. Not a match. Definitely not blue. Stuck in a ditch. Great. Well, hopefully Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. A winch! Where these new cells go must have something to do with the numbers on them. But what? There, it's working. Now all I need to do is figure out how to get it back up there. This should keep those men in yellow off my back. There's about a jillion plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Maybe this will help me figure out what plant I'm looking for. Oops. I'm busted. Oh, darn it. Say goodnight, Gracie. I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into that formula machine thing yet. Zero, 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 zero. Right. Zero point one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-huh. Eighteen. That's nice. Forty-two. Great. 425,460,878. Swell. 3.14159265.4? Hmm. 2.718828. Interesting. 4,815,162,342. A nice round number. 119,456. All right. Wonder what this thing does. Can't use this until I do all that sorting and counting stuff. I can't run my figures through this yet. I haven't filled out all the boxes on that grid. There are still some empty boxes. Interesting lock. The radio doesn't have any power. Still no power. Power. That helps. Nancy, welcome. Use this radio to call me at this frequency, 18.305. QK. Okay, I'll check it out. A nose ring, of course. I can move his teeth now. Oh, well, so much for going out the same way I came in. Accounts, that doesn't sound very helpful. Suppliers, that doesn't sound very helpful. Suppliers, that doesn't sound very helpful either. Accounts, that doesn't sound very helpful either. Shipping. Yeah, let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. Shipping. Now that's more like it. Let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. FERC-21 was extracted from an unexpected but fortuitous mutation, which I've managed to successfully propagate. Have it tested immediately because I do believe this is the one. Mutation, huh? Something tells me that's the plan I need to get a sample from. Extract codes. This sounds promising. Hmm, looks like a list of substances and the names of the beds containing the plants they came from. Extract codes. Maybe that's what FERC-21 is, an extract code. Yes, it says here that FERC-21 was extracted from the plants in bed HH3333. And according to that note from Dr. Craven, those plants are apparently mutants. Malachi Herbert Craven... IQ of 182, maintains blog, da, 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 solar power. Okay, what else do we have in this trunk? Look at all those webs. I wonder what made them, and why are there so many? Quigley? Yoo-hoo! Quigley! I just wondered if you knew what the deal is with all those webs at Kapu Cave. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. What is that sound? There's that weird whispering again. Try it and trade it. 
Must be part of the immersion excursion thing. Looks like you need some kind of special money for this. I barely have any real money. Big Island Mike told me to make an aloha necklace. Ah, here we go. So what shells do I need? Hmm, if I knew which locker belonged to that guy who just got fired and could figure out how to open it, I could wear his yellow jumpsuit outside and snoop to my heart's content. Breaker, breaker, one nine, talk to me, come on. Yoo-hoo, oh, yoo-hoo, anybody there? Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. One, two, three, testing, one, two, three, testing. Can anybody hear me? Hello, is anybody out there? Hello, hello. Please insert a Big Island buck. Hey, this'll cost you a Big Island buck, pal. I've already got 12 seeds. I've picked enough pods for a while. I need to turn in the seeds I have before I pick any more. There, 12 viable seeds, I hope. Okay, hopefully Dr. Craven will like what I've picked for him this time. There, let's see what Dr. Craven has to say about this batch of seeds. Well, these 12 seeds look viable to me. Still need to do that. Haven't done that yet. Can't check that off yet. Done. Check. Did that. Shoot, I still haven't gotten that leaf sample. Nuts, I forgot to get that leaf sample. What am I doing? I still don't have that leaf sample. I can't leave without that leaf sample. Uh-oh, sounds like I missed a call. <gasps> the ledge isn't there anymore. Well, there's no turning back now. Looks like the only way I can go is deeper into the cave. No use trying to go that way. Can't go that way, that's for sure. That's lava. No wonder it's so hot in here. Phew, I feel like I'm in a sauna. I can't leave yet. I still need to get that car from Big Island Mike. Unless I want to walk to Dr. Kim's base camp, I better get that car from Big Island Mike. I can't leave this place until I get the keys to that car Dr. Kim left with Big Island Mike. Still need a lens for this. Can't use this until I get a new lens. This thing's pretty useless without a lens. Looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. I can't go anywhere until I get this thing out of the ditch. Somehow I've got to get this thing out of that ditch. <sighs> Still stuck in the ditch. There, it's out of the ditch. Player, computer. I probably shouldn't go touching anything in here without permission. A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to collect shells so I can get those keys from Big Island Mike. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to pick up those car keys from Big Island Mike and go meet Dr. Kim. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to go meet Dr. Kim. Well, I can't get out that way, that's for sure. Looks like I'll just have to keep walking. Okay, let's see. The name of the guy Dr. Craven fired was Fighterman or something. Here we go. Fighterman, number 14-667-93. All right. Looks like employee number 14-667-93, otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned to Locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. What was that? I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. I should attach the hook to the cable first. It would be better to first attach the hook to the winch cable, then attach it to this. It's Frank. I'd love to see what's in that pocket. But if Dr. Craven caught me snooping in his things, whoa, can't check that out now. Time to dig out the tank top, stock up on sunscreen, and slip on those sandals, because for my next adventure, I'm off to Hawaii, to the Big Island to be exact, where I'll be helping out this quirky entomologist, that's a bug scientist, by the way, who has just made a disturbing discovery. In fact, my working vacation quickly turns into a series of disturbing discoveries, including one that involves a legendary monster with a nasty temper and an appetite for revenge. So come with me to this island paradise and help me solve the mystery surrounding the creature of Kapu Cave. Until then, aloha. Bad things have been happening to the guests at Icicle Creek Lodge. 
They come for winter fun, like ice skating, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing. But some leave, fearing for their lives. Of course, the lodge is located deep in the wilds of the Canadian Rockies, and it is the dead of an unusually cold, snowy winter. But is the lodge simply unlucky? Is it the target of some mysterious curse? Or is someone behind these strange events? Or does it have something to do with the elusive wolf that haunts the surrounding hills, howling before each new disaster? Help me find out in my next adventure, The White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Uh, no, not right now. Deal. Darn it, I was going to do world peace. See ya, Frank. Hello? I'd love to be able to help you. What is it? Yeah? What kind of animals? Hmm, doesn't ring any bells, but I'll keep my eyes open, okay? My pleasure. Bye. Wait a minute. I saw a face like that. It was carved into this wall I found while emptying frass jars for Quigley. Tell me more about the animals. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll go back and take another look at it. Then I'll definitely take another look at it. Tell me about the animals. How about you? Glad you did. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. What about you? Then I guess I'll catch you later. Just checking in? Nope. Ditto. Frank, are you all right? Jump from rock to rock and head for the stairs in front of you. The ones behind Big Island Mike. But be careful. A rock that's there one minute may not be there the next. Hurry, Frank. Big Island Mike is heading for the other set of stairs. If he gets out before you do, he'll get away. Tell that to them. I just got here. I'm going to be helping this entomologist Dad heard about do field work for the next two weeks. What are you guys doing here? No kidding. I'm supposed to pick up a car at Big Island Mike's. What does this Aikens guy need a background check for? No kidding. I just met Big Island Mike. I'm picking up a car from him. What does this Aikens guy need a background check for? So you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Yep, just me and Dr. Kim and a couple thousand of her closest insect-type friends out there in the jungle. Watch out for who? What's wrong with the pineapples? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. I have my cell phone, so keep in touch. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. Positive. Hey, listen, I'll call you later, okay? Bye. Hi, guys. It's Nancy. I'll just call you back later. Bye. Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Well, after I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim had arranged for me, I started driving. Well... Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Got anything on Green Trigger Rock yet? Done any snooping yet? Anything to report? Do any snooping around Big Island Mike's yet? Hi, guys. It's Nancy. I'll call you back later. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, remember that creepy face that had been carved into a wall? The one with all the pictures on his teeth? Well, thanks to that list of animals you gave me, the face opened up. And I'm about to explore whatever's behind it. I don't know if or how this helps you, but I just thought I'd let you know. Anyway, I'm going in, so wish me luck. Hey, Frank, it's me. Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. In fact, she rattled off the coordinates of where she is now so I could plug them into my GPS, but all I heard was north 19 degrees 20-something. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could be wrong about that, too. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? So what have you been doing? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. Have you been able to snoop around in Mapu's office yet? Actually, nothing. I'll call you later, okay? Well, if you find out anything, give me a call. Remember, what Dr. Kim said sounded like Green Trigger Rock. Great. Hey, if you find out anything, give me a call. That's it. If you find out anything, give me a call. I will. Thanks. Talk to you later. No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Well, keep in touch, okay? Bye. Not yet. Sounds like I better get busy, huh? Talk to you later. Uh, not yet. Guess I better get busy, huh? Talk to you later. Thanks, Joe. Bye. 
<sighs> Me neither. Just checking in. See ya. Hi, Joe. Just wanted to thank you for the coordinates. Talk to you later. I'll try him again later. Frank? Oh, hi. It's Nancy. Sorry. Guess I expected Joe to answer. What? What happened? Hey, Frank, it's me. Remember how you asked me if there was anything you could do to help me? Hey, Frank, it's me. Just checking in. How you doing? Hey, Frank, how's it going? Well, it just so happens that I've been very busy. Hey, Frank, I'm calling because I discovered something that I thought you might be interested in. Hi, Frank. Before I forget, I came across this wall that has this really creepy face on it and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. And I'd kind of like to know why it's there. Hey, you staying out of trouble? Nothing much. Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. What's going on? Hi, Frank. Me again. Is he going to be okay? So you don't know who did it? Well, let's see. I could use some help identifying some of the plants that the frost jars are hanging next to. Nope, I think I can handle it. Nope, so far so good. Nope, so far so good. But I discovered something that you might be interested in. I could use some help identifying the plants that the frost jars are hanging next to. Great. That's it for now. It was so freaky. I sent you a picture of it. I will. So how are you doing? Well, if there's anything I can do for you, just holler. Bye. While I was taking kind of an unauthorized tour of the Healy Healy Research Center. While you were Center, snooping. While I was snooping, I came across the name of the person Malachi Craven is working for. Richard Akins. Yep. Yep, Dr. Craven said Akins hired him to create a sunblock in pill form. Might be just a coincidence. Anyway, if I find out anything else, I'll let you know. Talk to you later. Bye. In fact, I emailed you a picture of one of them. If you could try to figure out the name of it, I'd really appreciate it. How's Joe? In fact, I emailed you some pictures of them. If you could try to figure out their names, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Figures. Well, I'll let you go. If you think you know what that plant is, give me a call. <laughs> Figures. Well, I'll let you go. If you think you know what those plants are, give me a call. I'd really like to know what the deal is with this wall I found that has this creepy face and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. Well, let me know when you've got something. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Well, then, I guess I'll talk to you later. Well, let me know when you've got something for me. I'm still trying to do that frass jar sorting and counting thing for Quigley. How's Joe? I'm still trying to do that frass jar sorting and counting thing for Quigley. You too. Catch you later. Figures. Well, I'll let you go. Bye. Well, Quigley didn't exactly say that. There's just an awful lot of them, and she thinks we should find out why. I will. Well, something like that. But the real reason I called is because I discovered something that you might be interested in. Mostly, I just wanted to say hi. Just calling to say hey. Bye. I will. Bye. Actually, not too much. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, yeah. Nancy Drew. Hello? Still plugging away. A-okay. Hi, Frank. Everything okay? Hello? Why don't you tell me? Hey, Joe. What have you been up to? Nope. Still trying to figure out where Dr. Kim is. Not really. About the same. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? Great, let's hear it. Doing what? Nope. Any luck finding out where Green Trigger Rock is? I'm sure if I look around her camp long enough, I'll find something that'll tell me where she is. I'm thinking I might drive over to that Healy Healy place Big Island Mike mentioned and see if anyone there knows where she is. I drove to that Healy Healy place that Big Island Mike mentioned to see if anyone there knew where she was, but they wouldn't let me in. I drove to the Healy Healy Research Center to see if anyone there knew where she was, but the guy I talked to, Malachi Craven, he was no help at all. Well, say hi to Frank for me. I will if you will. I will. Say hi to Frank for me. Say hi to Frank for me. I was hoping you were calling with information on Green Trigger Rock. Still trying to find Dr. Kim. Yes, Joe. See ya. What about you? <sighs> so, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Although it took a while for the authorities to figure out exactly what to charge them with. As for what they had done, here's how Big Island Mike explained it. Big Island Mike and Pua finally made it to safety, and all of us managed to get out of the cave using the lava tube that Mike had discovered. Much to their credit, he and Pua turned themselves in immediately, although it took a while for the authorities to figure out exactly what to charge them with. As for what they had done, Here's how Big Island Mike explained it. And so he set out to force the Healy Healy out of business, knowing that once the land was his, he could sell it and pay off all his debts. Desperate to pay off the loan sharks to whom he owed a lot of money, Big Island Mike remembered something. 
The land that Healy Healy Research Facility was on used to belong to his aunt. She willed it to the foundation that built the facility with the stipulation that the land would go to Mike if and when the Healy Healy ever closed its doors. And so he set out to force the Healy Healy out of business, knowing that once the land was his, he could sell it and pay off all his debts. Soon, the beetle larvae, which are practically microscopic, started feeding on the local pineapples. And when it became apparent that something strange was going on with the pineapple crop, the Mapus began circulating the rumor that the Healy Healy was to blame. First, capitalizing on what he knew about pineapples, he used to work for a pineapple grower. Big Island Mike hired Johnny Kudo to steal canisters of pheromones for him. He knew that when sprayed in the jungle, these pheromones would cause an explosion in the population of the tiny and normally benign fritillated flag beetle. To lower their risk of being seen, the Mapu spread the rumor that Connie Okala was once again prowling the island. Then they sprayed the chemicals, and soon fritillated flag beetles were everywhere. Dr. Kim finally figured out that the weird whispering noise I had heard was the beetles rubbing their little legs together in some kind of greeting ritual. Soon, the beetle larvae, which are practically microscopic, started feeding on the local pineapples. And when it became apparent that something strange was going on with the pineapple crop, the Mapus began circulating the rumor that the Healy Healy was to blame. Who, it turns out, is the one who tore Dr. Kim's camp up in a fit of anger mismanagement, was working with plant mutations, public pressure may have indeed caused the Healy Healy to close its doors. And their plan almost worked. The rumor made one of the Healy Healy's current owners, Richard Aiken, so nervous that he hired the Hardy Boys to dig up something, anything that he could use to discredit the Mapus and shut them up. And if word had gotten out that Malachi Craven, who it turns out is the one who tore Dr. Kim's camp up in a fit of anger mismanagement, was working with plant mutations, public pressure may have indeed caused the Healy Healy to close its doors. Well, let's just say when it comes to cleaning frass jars, I am an expert. But thanks to Frank and Joe and Dr. Kim and yours truly, the Mapu's plot was exposed, and the fritillated flag beetle population quickly fell to its normal size, as did that of the Norsobeta odorata moth. So, how did I spend the rest of my time on the Big Island? Well, let's just say when it comes to cleaning frass jars, I am an expert. But in this game, The Creature of Kapu Cave, you'll be going to the Big Island of Hawaii, so things will be a little different. For instance, to get from place to place, you'll use a GPS map. The coordinates for two locations have been pre-programmed into the map. But to get to other locations, you'll have to find and enter their coordinates into the map yourself. In this game, you can use your cell phone to call Ned Nickerson. He's a really good friend of mine. And you can call the Hardy Boys. In fact, by calling the Hardy Boys, you can actually become one of the Hardy Boys. And by calling me, you can become me. You'll discover that using the phone to switch back and forth like that will come in very handy in this game. There won't be a camera in this game. In this game, you'll have a chance to spend and earn special money called Big Island Bucks. The change purse at the bottom of the screen will tell you how many bucks you have at any given point in the game. When you spend your Big Island Bucks on something, the appropriate amount will automatically be deducted from your change purse. When you earn Big Island Bucks, they will be added to your change purse. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and say aloha. Also, by clicking on Interface Designs, you'll be able to choose how you want the game window to look. You can change the UI skin as often as you like by returning to this option in Game Setup. Some kind of hook would be good here. That doesn't go there. What I need for this is a hook. This is where the lens goes. What I need is a lens. That won't work. What I need for this are some photovoltaic cells. That's not what I need to fix this. If I had some photovoltaic cells, I'd be in business. I don't need to analyze that. That doesn't go there. That's not going to help me get in. I think it wants to see my pass. Looks like I need a special key. That doesn't fit. Can't unlock this with that. Something goes here. But what? Something else goes here. Putting that there doesn't help. You have reached. At the tone, please leave a message. Who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. This is Kudo. What do you want? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I've got nothing going with that overgrown jerk. The guy double-crossed me, okay? We had a deal. I came through. He didn't. So I went looking for a way to even the score. Your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's all.
You don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, Nance. Good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Hey, Nance. Good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Hey, Nance. What's going on? All right, I will. Let's see. The last time we talked, I was about to... Hi, Nancy. Funny you should ask. Hi, Nance. Any news? Nance, anything going on? Me again. How's it going? And then I thought I'd call you, and here we are. Has Dr. Kim shown up yet? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Will do. Bye, Nance. Well, I'll let you go so you can have at it. Keep in touch. Deal. Bye, Nance. Well, good luck. Let me know what happens. Will do. Bye, Nance. Well, keep at it. She's got to turn up eventually. Then that's pretty much it. Sorry. Still working on it. Will do. See ya. And that's pretty much it. How about you? Well, I'll let you go so you can keep at it. Just be careful out there. Nothing yet. I guess you will. Kind of nice being in Hawaii, though, huh? Keep in touch. Can't complain. Hi, Nance. It's Joe. Listen, Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. So I hope you get this message before you get to her place. Because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. In any case, be careful. And again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. Joe Hardy. Hello? Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Hey, Nancy, how's it going? What's up? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, what's going on? Not really. Well, hey, that was fast. What's up? Whoa. So what did Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody or something had torn up her camp? So not only did someone tear up her camp, but she's missing? Whoa. Frank's out trying to surf, and I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around Big Island Mike's desk. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? Sounds like you've been busy. Not yet. I keep getting distracted. Sounds good. No, but I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll even ask Big Island Mike. I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around his desk. No, but I'll keep my eyes open. In fact, maybe I'll go back and take another look around Mapu's desk. I finally got him to leave for a while. Actually, I know where there's a great map of the island. I'll go back and take a look at it. Green Trigger Rock, huh? Well, hey, if I can do anything for you, you just let me know. Green Trigger Rock. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? Bye. You got it. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? Not yet. You find Dr. Kim yet? You and me both. Matter of fact, I did. Found out Big Island Mike got a delivery from someone called JK a couple of weeks ago. Don't know what was delivered or who JK is, or if either one is important, but... You find Dr. Kim yet? Sort of. I still need to find Tooth It. You locate Dr. Kim yet? Afraid not, but I'm on it. How about you? She does? Oh, come on. She probably says that about all her students. It was Frank's turn to monopolize her time. Are you familiar with a place in the jungle around here called Green Trigger Rock or something like that? Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. Frankly, it was kind of scary. No big deal. Pele? Anything in here get damaged? Who are her enemies? You mean you've got Kane Okala and Pele running around wreaking havoc out there? You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? I'm game. What are Ulua? Will you provide the bait? Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. How long have you been in this business? You sure keep her busy. What happened to her mom, if you don't mind my asking? Raising a daughter all by yourself must have been pretty hard. Turned into your basic all-around good kid, huh? Come on, Mr. Mapu. Nobody's perfect. She must have some bad habits. Think you could explain this try-it-and-trade-it system of yours again? Especially you, right? Since you get to keep everything we trade in? Well, hey, when can I start? Well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Well, hang in there. Hi, Mr. Akins. It's Joe Hardy. Nothing important. Just checking in. Talk to you later. I really don't have anything to report yet. Still don't have anything to report. Hey! Ugh. Ugh. There. Very nice. Beautiful. Excellent. I'm pretty good at this. All done. Perfect. Great map. No wonder Mike knows so much about this island. So, if I were Green Trigger Rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. Three Finger Rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three Finger Rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. There we go. Okay. Done. That ought to do it. Ah, alone at last. March 5th. Delivery from JK exclamation point exclamation point. Wonder who or what JK is. I can't buy that. Not till I get some more Big Island bucks. I'm going to need more Big Island bucks if I want to buy that. I can't afford this right now. 
Whoa, earthquake! I need some bait. Be nice if I had some bait. Can't fish till I get some bait. Gotcha! Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. Nuts, no more bait. Shoot, I hate when that happens. I blew that. It got away. One Ulua down, five to go. Ulua number six. That ought to do it. Now, why'd I buy this again? One can never have too many of these. It's cute. Totally useless, but cute. I may just have to give this a try or two. All right. Not only did I win, but I get a prize. Mmm. 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 That was great. Mmm. And Frank says I can't cook. Uh-oh. I don't have any money. Oh, well. Oops. I don't have any Big Island bucks. Guess I'm out of luck. Too soon to check that off. Still gotta do that. Not done with that yet. Nailed that one. Been there, did that. I can cross this one off. No time to look at that now. Reading that can wait. Still recovering from the last one. Thought I'd give you a chance to catch a few without me. Listen, how about we keep that our little secret, okay? Well, I'm sure Frank swallowed a lot of water the first couple of times you took him out, right? Listen, just between you and me, who do you think's doing better, me or Frank? Must get pretty boring having to teach newbies like us day in and day out, huh? Even you? Even Frank? Frank hasn't stood up yet? Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? How's your dad doing? You know, business-wise. Ever wish your dad had chosen some other way to make a living? How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Wow, that must have been tough. What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? So you believe he's real? Well, can you blame me? He showed up before? When? Because this is the 21st century and he's just a myth. I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. What else do you like to do besides surf? Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles? Go to wild parties? Pig out on shave ice? Tell me. I bet you like to play video games online because you can beat more people at one time that way. An adrenaline freak like you never does anything wild and crazy? Think that'll change when you win the championship? You feel the earthquake? You actually enjoy earthquakes? Sure, it was a blast. If you don't count the sheer terror part. Your father thinks Pele caused that earthquake. You're not concerned about the damage they do? You're not afraid of tsunamis? Can I turn this necklace into you for some Big Island bucks? Can I turn these necklaces into you for some Big Island bucks? Made some more necklaces. Made another necklace. Trade you this fish for some Big Island bucks. Trade you these fish for some Big Island bucks. Got you another fish. Catch you later. I'll stop bugging you for now. See you around the campus. Got you some more fish. I can look in there later. I can see what I've got in there later. Now is not a good time to open that. I can't use that here. All right, lady. Hold it right there. State your business, please. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to put your hands up. State your business, please. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now. So just back your car up, turn around, and leave. <sighs> Dr. Craven? The young lady who... State your business. Oh, it's you. State your biz. Oh, it's you. I'm supposed to let you in. Sorry, Dr. Craven said not to let you in anymore. So just back up, turn around, and leave. I said back up, turn around, and leave. Sorry. State your business. Sorry, there's no one here by that name. This is a private facility, so I have to ask you to please back your car up, turn around, and leave. Sorry, please back your car up, turn around, and leave. Right away, Dr. Craven. Whatever goes here, that ain't it. That isn't right. Something goes here, but not that. I, uh... Well, Pua sent me. She gave me a map. What is all this? Pua? You followed me? Wait a minute. You're in this whatever it is together? Hey, Nance. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm okay. Be kinda nice to get back on solid ground, though. Any ideas? Oh, man. I've never been so glad to see solid ground in my life. Nice work, Nance. Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Not yet. Sorry. You betcha. Well... Hey, Nancy. You know me. Busy, busy, busy. Well... Hey, it's Frank. What's going on there? How are you doing? Hey, Nance. I'm just kind of touching bases. The Poo Hala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. The Hala Pepe tree has smooth gray bark and long skinny leaves. The Aali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall with sickle-shaped leaves. The Wheelie Wheelie tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval-shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta-da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And Myconia, boo, is an extremely invasive tree with big leaves that are green on top and purple on the bottom and have three veins. I will. See ya. Good. How about I talk to you later? And there you have it. Oh, and I also saved the whales and brought about world peace. Sorry, you have to do bug stuff. Okay, anything else you want to know? Hey, Nance, it's me. 
Listen, I just came across something kind of weird and I thought I'd see if you knew anything about it. Hey Nance, it's me. Listen, remember that creepy face you said you saw? The one with all the animals on its teeth? Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with all these animals on them. Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. That's all I ask. Thanks, Nancy. Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. It has something to do with this old map I found, so I have the feeling it's important. Thanks, Nance. See ya. Well, I just came across a drawing of a creepy face that has a mouthful of teeth with animals on them. Me too. Just thought I'd give you a call. See ya. Just checking in. You mind? Good. I'll call you later. It's all good. You? Then I guess I'll let you go. Hmm. If the pictures on that old current chart helped her, maybe whatever she just did to open up that face will somehow help me. And or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. Hello? That was quick. What's going on? Hello? Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. Still trying to figure out who clobbered Joe and what, if anything, Mapu had to do with it. So-so. How about you? Trying to. Oh, stuff. Sup? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's immersion center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. Not yet. So what's going on with you? Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? Oh yeah? I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Talk to you later. Cool. If and when I dig up anything on it, I'll give you a call. Well, if I come across anything that involves a creepy face with critters on its teeth, I'll give you a call. Okay. But if you change your mind, just let me know. I'm trying to figure out whether what happened to Joe was just bad luck, or whether there's more going on around here than meets the eye. Deal. I'll talk to you later. Our Richard Aikens? Of Aikens Biotech? Wow, that is interesting. I'm not sure what it means, but it's certainly food for thought. Aikens never said a word about it. Yeah, please do. Bye. No problem. He's fine. He's still at the clinic, but he's got his eye on this cute nurse, so he's not in any hurry to leave. You got it. You change your mind? How about you? Well, hang in there. See you, Nance. Wow! So the island's being taken over by caterpillars? Sounds like a plan to me. In the meantime, I've got some poking around of my own to do. Keep in touch. Glad you called. Talk to you soon, okay? How about you? Back at ya. Well, if you do change your mind, let me know. Okay. Everything okay? Then I guess I'll get back to work. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. Hello? Mostly I want to know why you slugged my brother. I'm talking about the thing you got going with Mapu. Assault and battery is a felony. I could make a lot of trouble for you. What was it Mapu paid you to steal for him? Why do you think Mapu double-crossed you like that? Hey! I know all about it. In fact... No, wait! Hello? Hello? You there? Shoot. I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? I think I can handle that. You sure you couldn't just tell me? Got a shave ice for you to try. Got another shave ice for you. I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Does that happen a lot? The guy didn't look like a bum to Joe. Is anything missing? Could it have been someone who used to work here? No, he said all he saw was a mask. But he got a look at the guy's sandals. You know, just before he blacked out. Said they were Duro Souls. Expensive brand. Do the police have any leads? My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Especially you, right? Since you get to keep everything we trade in? Well, hey, when can I start? Think you could explain this try-it-and-trade-it system of yours again? I couldn't help but overhear you and Pua arguing earlier. Anything serious? I couldn't tell who was mad or you or her. Kinda reminded me of some of the fights Joe and I have had. Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Think Pua knows him? You ever work with somebody named Johnny Kudo? Or maybe he took one of your excursions? Thanks for your help. Good talking to you. Nancy? What are you doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe it or not, we're on assignment. Joe, keep it down. 
He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either of the Mapu's closets before he makes her an offer. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we could get to know her and make sure she's as squeaky clean as she seems. Akins figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot more than some private investigator. Don't worry. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, we'll be doing some hardcore snooping, too. Yeah. Akins wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean, but the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So you're doing fieldwork for an entomologist? Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Aw, Joe. Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half-burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes on these rampages. Apparently, his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot of sightings lately, probably because of the pineapples. The pineapples have been growing so poorly on this part of the island that people say there may not even be a local crop this year. But nobody can say why. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe... If he really existed, which of course he does not. Happy, Frank? You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there... Food, toiletries, monster repellent... Call us anytime, okay? Bye. See you, Nance. Richard Akins, the CEO of Akins Biotech? He hired us to do kind of a background check on Pua Mapu and her father, Mike Mapu. She's an up-and-coming world-class surfer. He runs a local business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. This is Frank Hardy. I called you before about Johnny Kudo. Hi, this is Frank Hardy. It's receipt number 57441. I don't know him at all. Total stranger. That depends on why you're asking. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? Think you could give me Kudo's phone number? What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Hey, I really appreciate your help. He's still at the clinic, but he'll be fine. He's okay, but he'd feel a lot better if he knew who attacked him like that. Are Joe and I your only pupils right now? How's your dad doing? You know, business-wise. Ever wish your dad had chosen some other way to make a living? How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. That must have been tough. What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? So you believe he's real? Well, can you blame me? He showed up before? When? Because this is the 21st century, and he's just a myth. I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. What else do you like to do besides surf? Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles? Go to wild parties? Pig out on shave ice? What? Tell me. I bet you like to play video games. Online, because you can beat more people at one time that way. An adrenaline freak like you never does anything wild and crazy. Think that'll change when you win the championship? You know a guy named Johnny Kudo? He may be the guy who attacked Joe. Ever hear your father say anything about him? Your father thought you may have gone out with him. Nah, maybe. I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a bigwig attorney back home. About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. The guy who clobbered Joe, what do you think he was doing in your father's office? Really? Must be all those cop shows I watch. That's because my brother and I are actually undercover detectives. That was some argument you and your dad had. I think everyone within 10 square miles heard you. Sort of. I couldn't really make out what you were saying. Not that I was trying to. So can mine. What did your dad do? I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. Like hiding or maybe even fencing stolen property for someone. Look, it's a real, real long story and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Think I could see it? Then what are you waiting for? I can't do that. Deal. Then again, maybe I can do that. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? I was told that if I turn this necklace into you, I can get some Big Island Bucks? I was told that if I turn these necklaces into you, I can get some Big Island Bucks? Got some more necklaces for you. Is it true you'll buy this fish from me? Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Got you another fish. Got you some more fish. Got another necklace for you. Think I could rent some snorkeling equipment? There you go. Oops. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. See you in a bit. I'll check back with you later. Guess I'll get out of your hair. Hello, Mr. Akins. This is Frank Hardy. Calling from Hawaii? 
Hello, Mr. Akins. This is Frank Hardy again. Actually, nothing. Just calling to say hi. Unfortunately, my brother was in the process of looking around Mike Mapu's office when he was knocked unconscious. The clinic wants to keep him under observation for a while, that's all. The bad part is, he didn't see who did it. I guess it's possible. I doubt it. Mike Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. But I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. Mike Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. And Pua Mapu's just afraid we'll sue them or something. But I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. I intend to talk to them the first chance I get. Pua Mapu seemed mortified but I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. I found a pawn ticket that may or may not belong to the intruder who slugged Joe. Yes, he said it was issued to someone named Johnny Kudo, or should I say, to a thief named Johnny Kudo. Turns out all the stuff he pawned had been stolen. Looks that way. Actually, maybe not. Will do. See, before he got clobbered, Joe saw a note that Mike Mapu had written to himself about how he was expecting a delivery from someone with the initials J.K. I'm not sure what the connection is yet, or if there even is one, it could all just be a coincidence. There's a chance that Mike Mapu is somehow involved with a thief named Johnny Kudo. Well, I'm pretty sure Kudo is the guy who clobbered Joe in Mapu's office, and when I talked to him, he indicated that Mapu had double-crossed him somehow. I managed to get a hold of that Johnny Kudo guy I told you about. Well, he didn't admit it, of course, but I'm pretty sure he's the guy who clobbered Joe. He indicated that Mapu has double-crossed him somehow. Pua says her father has been acting very secretive lately says he may be hiding something in an underground chamber. I knew you were gonna ask me that. What blowhard? As soon as I find the chamber, I'll let you know. What do you know about the Healy Healy Research Center? It's out here where we are, in Hawaii. What's the real reason you hired us, Mr. Akins? A lot of people think weird things are going on up there. It's just that Joe and I, we don't like being lied to. So unless you tell us the truth, like now, we're gonna be on the next flight out of here. So you could blackmail him into shutting up. The things he's been saying about the Healy Healy, are they just rumors? Why didn't you just tell us this to begin with? We're not quitters, Mr. Akins. We just like to know the facts. Yes, sir. Actually, I still don't have anything to report. That's it for now. Time to get back to work. Nothing else to report. Hmm. Finished. That ought to do it. Perfect match. That looks right. Through with that one. There. Not bad. There. That should do it. Feeny. There we go. Now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Let's see if this is Big Island Mike's favorite flavor. Oops. So much for my shave ice. Whoa. Weird looking dude. Looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. But what? I've never seen him before. But maybe Nancy has. Whoa. Weird looking dude. Wait a minute. A creepy face with creatures on its teeth. This could be the same face Nancy saw. I can't buy that yet. I don't have enough Big Island bucks. I can't afford to buy that right now. That's a little out of my price range right now. I can't hold my breath much longer. I'm running out of air. I need some air. If I don't take a breath soon, I'm done for. The eel's gone, and that wasn't there before. Nancy did help me. Hmm, that eel. If I want a fish, I'm going to have to get some bait first. Can't catch anything without bait. I don't have any bait. I got one. Bingo. Yes. I'm out of bait. Rats. That one got away. Didn't get anything that time. Missed it. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, this is real useful. Maybe I'll give this to Joe as a get well present. This looks like it might be kind of fun. Hey, how about that? I won something. Mmm. That was pretty good. That hit the spot. Excellent. This dry bag is great. I can keep my clothes with me while I'm snorkeling. The chamber Pua told me about must be in there. <gasps> Looks like I'm gonna need money to operate this thing. No can do. I don't have any Big Island bucks. Can't check that off yet. Not done with that yet. Still need to do that. Done with that. That's done. I can check this one off. Whoa! 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 
Holy cow, those things are covered with tiny beetles. Man, whatever's inside those canisters, those beetles are going for it. Big time. Whoa, that eel means business. So much for following that current chart, not with that eel there. Whoa, that eel means business. Who are you? Where did you get that pass? Where are those seeds? What are you doing leaving like that? I gave you a job to do. How could you just leave like that when you haven't collected those seeds? Finished? Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? What is it now? If I seem groggy, it's because against my better judgment I took one of those blasted antihistamines. Not only did it put me to sleep, but I still itch. I said, leave! Out! That pass was not issued to you. Now where did you get it? I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now what were you doing with that pass? I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now explain yourself. All right, then. Who are you? Where? Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. Oh, use your brain. This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Of course she stole it. What does this place look like to you? A missing persons bureau? This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly true. How do you know about me? Uh, that's true, too. If you're interested in horticulture, why are you assisting an entomologist? Smart girl. Tell you what, I'll give you all the cells you need after you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. Good. I run a lean, mean machine here. No one else has the time. Bring me 12 viable seeds, and those cells are yours. The sooner you're through, the sooner I can incinerate those infernal plants. Now, I strongly advise you to get to work. Young lady, you are trying my patience. Instruct Olsen to put a box of A3 photovoltaic cells into Miss Drew's vehicle as soon as possible. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. I, uh, that was just my temper talking. I obviously have no reason to suspect the good doctor of any criminal activity whatsoever. Possibly. I don't honestly remember. From what I've read about her research, I have no real desire to meet her, quite frankly. I take it you finally located her? Yes, well, anything else? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? Good! I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get any work done. He'd rather I not say. Look here, Nancy. You're obviously familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. Me? Don't be ridiculous. Why in blazes would I do that? <sighs> She's being paid to spy on me. That's what's going on. My employer got wind of it and told me, so I went out to her camp to confront her, only she wasn't there, which made me even more furious, so then I just lost it. I figured whatever she scribbled on that clipboard was about me, so I ripped it off and stuffed it in my pocket. But when I got back here and really looked at it, I discovered the only thing on it was a bunch of garbage about moth larvae. I've been told I have a slight anger management problem. As for that page you saw, that's obviously why she had that security pass, so she could sneak in here. That repugnant little snoop. Wait a minute. How did you know that torn page was in the pocket of my lab coat? Of course not. Besides, the fritillated flag beetle is an inconsequential species in this area. You're spying on me too? I should have known you were after something. Please leave. I'm being paid to create a sunblock in pill form, so I'm developing a strain of pineapple that produces prodigious amounts of ferulic acid, a chemical that has shown great potential in this area. Now leave! 
I apparently have some double checking to do. Very good. These will do just fine. And so, as I promised... No, 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 you do not have 12 viable seeds in here. Wrong again. Now go back and do it right. Go back and do it over. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? They represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've hybridized. Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question. But since you're here, you can do it. Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent, and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. None whatsoever. This is a private facility. I'm under no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to anyone, except my employer, of course. If you have any regard at all for your personal safety, Ms. Drew, you'll leave now. Good luck entomologizing. Back to the salt mines. Hi-ho. All good things must end. Goodbye. Yes, well, the bugs await. Go. Marvelous idea. By all means, farewell. What? Let her in. What? 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 Who, who's there? Oh, well, come on up here. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those seedlings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh! Tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. <laughs> what have you done? Three months of work destroyed. Oh, no, it's dead. Dead. Nancy. No, no, no. I told you to fertilize them, not kill them. <gasps> You, young lady, would appear to be in very deep trouble. That's not going to unlock this door. What I need is a key. Like that's going to unlock this thing. I need to put something that will attract fish here. That's not going to attract any fish. That doesn't go there. I need to put something that fish will eat here. Fish aren't going to want to eat that. That's not something fish eat. I don't feel like swimming right now. Maybe I'll take a dip later. Swimming can wait. I need to put something that will attract fish here. That's not going to attract any fish. That doesn't go there. I need to put something that fish will eat here. Fish aren't going to want to eat that. That's not something fish eat. I'd rather snorkel than swim. Maybe I'll go swimming later. The water's so clear, I'll bet the snorkeling's great. Aloha! Nothing's the matter with me. You've come to my senses, that's all. You'll do what I tell you. You come back here. Pua! Aloha! Just off the bus, eh? If you're looking for a real deal Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. Where's the necklace? Want something else? You finished the necklace. Hey, what's up? Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? Hey, what's going on? Sorry, can't talk. Too busy. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. That's me. You by yourself? You sign up with Big Island Mike. You'll live like a real Hawaiian. Work like they work. Play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. You like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but I'll also keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand years. And you'll have a good time doing it. I'll make sure. In fact, see, I'm like a tailor. Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Real, honest-to-goodness Hawaiian vacations. Custom-made to fit just you and you alone. All the two boys from the mainland, oh yeah, they're having a great time. I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. They're from the mainland too. I got those boys surfing, shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything too. Maybe even at the same time as them, huh? Well, just in case whoever told you about this place didn't give you the lowdown, here it is. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. Just off the bus, huh? If you're looking for a real deal Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. The Healy Healy Research Center. Everything up there's a big mystery. Nobody knows. Big mystery. 
People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Dr. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. A Big Island Mike immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle any day. And to prove it, I'm not gonna give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. Tell you what, I'm kinda hungry, so I'm gonna make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Let's have it. <sighs> nope, I don't like any of those flavors. Try again. I only like one of those flavors. Try again. Mm, you got two of the flavors, right? Try again. You did it. That was my favorite flavor combination. Lime, coconut, and mango. I call it Honi Awa. That's Hawaiian for sour kiss. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not going to want it anymore. You're going to walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're going to get so relaxed. You're going to come back in here and say, You were right, Big Island Mike. Forget the bug doctor. Sign me up. You'll see. Doesn't look like it to me. Eh, probably not. But see, I don't approve of everything Dr. Kim does either. But the rig key. One more thing. Kane Okala. It's the people at Healy Healy. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend, don't believe them. The rig's out front. Got a GPS system and everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's already programmed in. Never heard of it. And I know this island better than anybody. So if I haven't heard of it, trust me, there's no such place. It's the Healy Healy. Whatever they're doing up there, it's gonna end up ruining the pineapple fields. The newspapers know the truth. They're just too afraid of the Healy Healy lawyers to write the truth. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this kudo guy, but I don't. Big shorefish, real good eating. Ulua are big shorefish, real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right here. No, she doesn't. In fact, I can't repeat what she says about some of them. So, how'd you like that earthquake? Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. No, today, nothing. But tomorrow. If she wanted to, she could turn this place into a pile of sticks. People who do bad things to her island. Or fail to show her the proper respect. Or... People she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Well, if somebody'd catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Five years, give or take. Pua's idea. She saw this whole extreme vacation thing coming. I thought she was Papule, but turns out she was right. We've been making money since day one. My daughter is one smart wahine. Keeping her busy keeps her out of trouble. Surfing keeps her out of trouble, too. She's head over heels in love with it. Died when Pua was ten. Pretty rough on her. Only way she got through it was by going out on her board every day. Man, it wasn't easy, that's for sure. She was a handful, but... Then she started surfing. And look at her. She's a champ. Future's as bright as they come. With Pua, what you see is what you get. Just wants to surf. And be the best in the world while she's at it. Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. A couple times a year. Soon as they see me, they run like heck. But today I wasn't around, so... <laughs> Somebody figured he'd help himself. I thought he said the guy was wearing a mask. Nope, not a thing. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey, you want to look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island Bucks. You get enough Big Island Bucks, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. 
You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better the bait you buy, the bigger the fish you catch, and the more Big Island bucks you get. The more Big Island bucks you get, the more stuff you can do in here. You see, a never-ending circle of fun. Everybody wins. Hey, the more money I bring in, the less I gotta charge customers like you. Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Pua, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island bucks. Father-daughter stuff, no big thing, forget about it. I said forget about it! Never heard of him. She might have gone out with him or something. Why are you asking? That's the spirit. Mahalo, good idea. Enjoy! Later, have fun, anytime. Catch you later. Frank, what are you doing here? A huge, terrible mistake, that's what it is. I've made Pele mad. Dad? I finally found a lava tube that bypasses the main tunnel. It's over, Pua. I'm dumping those things right now. If and when the Healy Healy Center shuts down, the land it's on reverts to us. Land we could turn right around and sell to developers. So I used Johnny Kudo to steal us some chemicals that would make insects start destroying the pineapples. And made it sound like Kane Okala was back to keep people out of the jungle so they wouldn't see us spraying. And then we spread the rumor that whatever was killing the pineapples was the Healy Healy's fault. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. No, Pua. Pele destroyed the tunnel for a reason. She was telling us to stop. No, Pua. It's over. The earthquake was a warning. This isn't right, and if we don't stop next, she'll destroy us. You see? You see? Pua and I will be going now. You should have stuck to catching bugs. Bye. Aloha. You can put the shells you find in here. Make me an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. You can put the shells you find in here. Sorry, my idea, my necklace, is yours. Hope I don't regret this. Never seen it before. Hey, you did it! Wasn't sure you were ready for him, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Hey, put on a suit if you're gonna come out here. Hey, no one's allowed out here unless they're wearing a protective suit. Hey you! Either go back inside or put on a suit. Okay, that's it. No more warnings, you are out of here. Hey! You over there, stop! I'll write you, hold it right there. Hey you! Stop! Grab him! He's that imposter! You! Stop! Get him! That's the guy who breached security! Hold it right there, pal. You're not going anywhere. Still no sign of the intruder. Over. We're still patrolling, but nobody's seen anything. Over. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over.